Well, hello, everyone. Welcome. Welcome to Playframe and welcome to Lightyear Frontier. This is a sponsored episode brought to you by the folks at Frame Break and Dare Drop, who would like you to know that this game, which is already out, has recently had a pretty major update, I want to say yesterday, called Neighbors and Animals that adds some pretty large new systems and features to the game. Uh, I've got a link to the game's Steam page down below if you want to go pick it up yourself. Uh, if you'd like to see a little bit more of the game first, though, then that's why I'm here. So, let me show you the game. It's quite fun. It is a chill farming sim, except you are on an alien planet and you do a lot of your farming in a mech. And from what I have played so far, I've really enjoyed it. The game is still in early access, so it's still actively in development and being expanded, but I am already having a pretty great time with it. It is also multiplayer, by the way. I should probably mention that. You can play with up to four people. Uh, I'm just going to be going in solo today, but I imagine co-op in this works quite nicely. Let's start a new game. And um, hang on. Keyboard, it's over here. Hang on, I can, just a second. Professionalism, okay, play farm, here we are. Let us begin. Earth's no good anymore. Some, like you, have taken off for the light year frontier. You want a fresh start, a new home. And here we are. Somewhere. Game begin. Welcome. Find your mech. I would love nothing more. Tutorials can be found in the database menu. I don't think we'll be needing them, but good to know they're there. It's a lovely looking game, too, by the way. Definitely having a good time with this one already. Even in its early access form. Here we go. Pretty. Hello. Strike or grab are our options. We can grab with this or hit. The pickaxe can break trees, stones, and other materials. Finally, I'm getting through. That was quite the tumble you took there. Luckily, your biometrics tell me you're A-OK. -okay. Oh, good. But before anything else, let's put that mech of yours back in one piece. I am noticing some missing parts. Um... Yep, 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 yep. We got ourselves an arm. Hang on. Let me, um... There we go. Better. And this piece. I don't really know what this piece does. Engine, that's important. Okay, well, probably still need that. Um, it says I can launch with right trigger, and I don't know if that's the best way to use such... It's probably not delicate equipment, it's farming equipment, but even so, you probably shouldn't launch it, but I'm gonna. <laughs> Flip that sucker sunny side up and hop in. We've got a planet to explore. All right, oof. I'm okay. Okay. There we go. Our vehicle. Enter. There we go. Love it. Find your tools. Change camera view with uh, the down on the D-pad button. So you can play third person if you'd like. Excuse my manners. One kind of stops expecting yes after 200 years. Name's P-I-P-3-R. That's Piper for short. Sure. Up there in the sky. That blinking dot is yours truly. But enough introductions. Let's get you situated and make you at home. Hello. 
Let's start jogging. I enjoy our pharmac. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna go back to this view. Vacuum harvester. The vacuum harvester gathers water in plants and can destroy weeds. So, we can gather water. Fill up our stores there. Also, gather some seeds. Excellent. We'll need these. First tool acquired. Let's keep moving. It never ceases to amaze. That magnificent mech. Those high-powered tools. And even that ship of yours. The farm mech project really was extraordinary. Such a shame that it got cancelled in the end. I wonder where my ship is and in what condition my ship is. Not great, I would guess. What do we got here? Spike saw. The spike saw is used to break things. Punch or swipe. Excellent. We have a tool. So, with this, we can start gathering some wood. The punch is effective against stones and minerals. Swipe effective against trees and plants. Let's gather some more. And... Why not? Let's get some rocks, too. Perfect. Love it. Okay. It always puzzled me why Earth was so quick to give up on the Farmac project. Sending us probes out to the edge of the galaxy to scan for hospitable planets. That was no small feat. Desperate times, I suppose. Hmm, got a few different options here. This one seems kind of isolated. Let's grab it. Oh, hello. Talk to you later. We've got some new objectives over there. We need to find, well, the rest of our tools, but also we need to build a workshop shed. Maybe we should find ourselves a spot where we want to start setting up a little base farm. After we grab this. I'm gonna try to show as much of this as I'm able within a short time. It's the kind of game that you, like, these sorts of games you spend a while with, you build up a farm, you do a lot of things, so I'm sure I'll only be able to show a little bit at the beginning, but you'll get the idea. Sprout Cannon. The sprout cannon plants sprouts, trees, and large plants well, in the ground. Abandoning the Lightyear frontier for Mars does make some sense. It was a lot closer and would sustain Earth's population, at least for a while. Where would be a good spot? I'm seeing some ruins in the distance. or some extremely unusual rock formations, but I'm going to go with the first thing. Um, you know, this feels pretty centrally located. I like this general idea. Let's set up around here. Um, do I have things enough to build anything with? So here is our little crafting menu. We've got, uh, gonna need more wood for that shed. Okay, I'll collect some on my way as we go to gather more tools. Here we are. Need more wood for things. Get in there. Getting plant fiber as well. That'll come in handy. That'll... That's later. Don't worry about that. Um, Let's go for this one. Definitely loving the skybox filled with other planets and whatnot. It's very good. Okay, okay. What do we got? Ooh. 
Restore Pine Heights. A new mission started. So, we've got some red goo here. Noxious slime. Requires a different tool than we have, but that stuff will be an issue. Irrigation hose. Perfect. The irrigation hose waters plants and removes the noxious slime. Perfect. This is how we are going to start restoring this area. Gotta clean it up a bit. Still a ways to go, but it's a start. Let's... Vacuum up a little more water here. We're running low. Okay. Um, there was one more. Yeah, you over there. Let's see if we can... Let's see if we can get over there. Water is... I have learned this the hard way. Don't don't walk in deep water with your mech. The thousands of people who initially came to the frontier, taking a chance on this one-way trip, only to get abandoned. But for generations, they've managed to thrive here. A testament to human tenacity, don't you think? Definitely. But that tenacity does not extend to your mech and its submersible capabilities. Speaking from experience... This is discouraged by the manufacturer. Seed shooter. Give. There we go. We are equipped. And now we have a new mission as well. Build a small plot. Look, I know you weren't sent here for a mission that's been cancelled for nearly two centuries. You probably found that ship in a scrap heap somewhere and took off a of greener pastures, right? No need to answer. It doesn't matter anymore. I'm just happy to finally have some company. Likewise. I can't tell which specific southern accent you've been programmed with, but you seem very nice. Going to need plenty of this, I can already tell. Rocks as well. Should probably gather some of those. Starting to get a little bit dark, though. Not that I'm terribly concerned about that. From what I've seen so far, the game is... Much more the peaceful farming sim type. I don't think there's a whole lot of very dangerous threats that you not need to be, like, spending a lot of time worrying about. If any. Maybe some. I don't know. I've not gotten super far yet. But it's pretty chill. I have lost a little bit of track of where our spot to start was going to be, but I think we're getting pretty close here. Out. It's fine. Right around here, I think, seems a good spot. Perfect. Let's begin with... If we can manage to... Yes! A shed. Perfect. All right. We can actually kind of plan out our whole thing here a bit if we want to. We can... Um, let's see. Where do I want this to go? Let's say... Let's say you'll go... Hmm. I wonder if there's a good spot. I wonder if there's a better spot I could be putting these things. Eh, it's fine. You'll go here. Needn't be too picky. Now, we've not actually built it yet. We're just kind of planning and placing here, but... There are other things we will need, like a tent. The tent... I have decided we'll go... It's getting dark out here. Uh, we'll go... Here, sure. And... Anything else? Storage would be nice. A storage box. We'll put that right about here. Perfect. Okay. Now. To actually build things. What This seems like the good one to start with, right? There we are. Small tent. And also, storage box. Do we have enough for this one, too? Mm, nope, not quite. We could partly build it up, but let's go ahead and get a little bit more wood, and uh, then we'll finish that up. Let us rest for the day. 
You can see the coziness meter over there. If we build some more like decorative elements around our tent, it will kind of increase its coziness rating, which will give us some bonus effects like keen eye, have a chance to find additional resources in the wild. It's quite nice. For now though, very basic uncozy tent. We sleep. Welcome to day two. Nothing like a good night's rest. Those new mech parts made a world of difference. The best looking ride in the frontier for sure. Okay. Still need to build that shed and also a small plot. Maybe I, maybe we'll start with that one first, actually. That might be worth doing. Let's see. Uh, fences. Don't need those right now, but... A uh, small sign. Campfire. That could be nice. Might do that. Uh, mailbox to access add-ons. Nice. A uh, small plot. We'll need a little more to build it, but this, I think, is probably a good starting investment. I wonder if I... Hmm. I do not actually know what the little uh, radius around it. Radius is not the right term, but you know, this uh, little area signifies. I will start building a small distance from it, I think. Don't need to have a farm right where I'm sleeping. Can do my little garden elsewhere. Like... You still kind of want to make it there. Lined up. Here. Perfect. Okay. And... Not quite enough of that plant fiber. Let's gather some more. Plant fiber is at least pretty easy to get in abundance. Okay. And now... Boom, there we go. Now to plant a seed. We have a tool for this. Uh, seed shooter. And we've gathered some of these little seeds here, so let's Fresh plant them. Haven't got quite enough to fill this out yet. That's fine. And we'll water them. Need to do a little bit of that daily, unless it's raining, of course. There we are. Okay. Now that's in progress. Hello. Um, what more do I need? More wood. Okay. Gonna need plenty of that to start. Let's grab some wood from here. And a bit more, just because I'm sure we'll be building more things in no time. Things which will require wood and also probably rocks. Okay. Pleasant vibes out here. Construct. Perfect. Um, let's go ahead and, uh, there we go. Build an oil presser inside the shed. Okay. Let's see. Oil presser. And I think I even have enough for it. Perfect. You go in here. A little further back. Yeah. Okay. And construct. Done craft and oil. All right. We just need plant fiber for this, and we can queue up a good handful of them. Let's just go ahead, because we'll need plenty of this. Oil presser is hard at work. Now we need a fodder oven as well. I don't know if we have enough for that one. Not quite, but we can go ahead and figure out where we want it, at least. A little further that way? Eh, nah, it's good. There we go. You, um, you guard the press. I will go get some more materials to build more things. Need rocks. And need wood. Eh, 
There we go. Should have plenty now, hopefully. And if we need rocks, well, there's plenty around here, aren't there? Hey, is there some of our oils? Awesome. Uh, and you... We need a little more rocks. Let's see. Let's get some of that now. Nope. Oh, there we go. Come on, a little closer. Perfect. Oop, we're over-encumbered, but not for long. There we are. We've built a fodder oven, and now we can craft fodder in it. Uh, let's see. Basic fodder. A tasty treat for the local wildlife. Oh, is that why you're hanging around my shed? Let's make several. There we go. Have you just been waiting for food? Hey, where'd you go? Hey. There you are. You're very patient. Have some food. Enjoy. Oh, thank you. A berry. Fair trade. Ah. A new little mission. Feed animals. This I can do. In fact, I think I'll do it over here, because you can feed animals individually, but you can also... Uh, feed animals at their nests. Here's a nest of these swift plumes. So... You can just go feed them right at the source. One out of three nests fed in the meadows region. Feeding animals in the region is, as I understand it, a way to start making a lot of the resources in that area start kind of uh, reappearing. Kind of restoring themselves. Which is nice, because I've been cutting down a lot of trees and breaking rocks and stuff, but... That stuff can and will slowly return, or at least some of it will. Again, I don't know all the ins and outs of the game, I'm not an expert in it. I'm still a little bit new, but enjoying it a great deal. Let's start looking into that Restore Pine Heights objective. I'm a little curious about that. Also about all of this. And both of these objectives are northish, so let's, uh, wait, no, yes, northish. If by north, you mean northwest. And I do. Here we are. We've got... Five new resources we can find here, and also... Treasures of some sort? I don't know what treasures are yet, I've not found any, but there's stuff to find in every region. And work to be done here, clearly, it's not... It's not looking its best. On account of the slime. But that's why we have a super soaker. Twenty-eight percent cleaned out here. All right, I I'm too curious about this thing. All of this. I'm starting to think this might not be natural rock formation, guys. This old thing caught your eye, huh? Yeah. It's an ancient megastructure. No way to tell what it was built for. Maybe it's just a huge art installation. Either way, it's no matter now. For all intents and purposes, it's just another mountain. Art installation is a better guess than rock formation. Strange rocks. Artifacts. Nice. Fine. All right, there's nine of those around here that we want to try to find. Why? Don't know yet. I only have one of them, you see. Uh, though I do see a couple more. Now, we've not really gotten out of our mech since we got in it, and you might be wondering, is that something you have to do? Sometimes, a little bit, yes. Because you see, this is quite narrow, isn't it? And if you try, well, that's going to... No, it's going to not quite work. Sometimes it not works in very amusing ways. Oh no. <laughs> I falled. Oh dear. Under these circumstances, you must exit your mech and, um, get it sorted out. All right, let's get to work. 
So there are some locations which you will need to exit your mech in order to reach. This is one of them. There we go. Artifact. And another. To analyze this. And back in we go. This one I think I can reach. I think. Yeah. I can't wait to analyze this. I too am excited. This one um ow. Boy, they were pretty good at strong mostly strong glass, except for this part. Um stretching the legs, huh? Yeah. Here we go. Nice. Fine. Thank you. I know where some of these are from playing previously, though I will be honest, I have not found all nine of these yet. Maybe that's a good objective to bail on for now, because I don't know where the rest are. And there's lots of games still to show in a small amount of time. Let's try to do that instead. But yes. Very curious to know more about this whole mystery. Let's do a little bit more cleaning before we head back. Cleanse the goo. Running kind of low on water here. I think there's another pond not too far. Yeah, here we go, here we go. Jump. Can't imagine that's good for the legs on the mech. Get refilled here. Okay. About a third of the way cleaned up. And you want to be doing this in each of the regions on this world because once a place is cleaned up, then it starts kind of a Restoring itself. Nature is healing and whatnot. Animal life will come back. The resources that are unique to the area will start becoming gatherable again. You can start building farms out here if you want to, or just gathering materials to bring back to your own place. And there's quite a few regions, in fact. Let's see, there, I think there's a... Yeah, there's a world map. Uh, let's see. So yeah, the meadows is kind of the main spot I was running around getting my stuff, but Pine Heights is here. This is the stretch I've been kind of running around cleaning up a little bit. I think the uh, wall, the weird art installation, let's call it, is uh, set up right around here. Uh, but there's more. There's more regions about. I don't even know how you get to this one. Maybe eventually you can get to where you can safely navigate water, or you get very, very good at jumping. Not sure which, but lots to do. And heck, the game's still in early access. They might make the map even larger, add more regions later. Who knows? I think they do have a full roadmap plan, if you are curious to know what they have in mind for the game's future. These birds have the right idea. We should get back to base. Do a snooze. Where is base? It is... Um, I don't think that's it. This way, I think. I actually don't know what the other two bases on the map are. Come to think of it. Yeah, there's like one over here. Another up there. I don't know what those are. Haven't gotten there yet. Mysteries for later. Give me seeds. Need them for planting. More oil. Good, good. If I plant these now, I might just get in the window before we take over to the next day. There we go. And watered. Boom. All right. Fantastic. Let's call it a night.
Ooh. Yeah, so there you go. Extra resources restored in the region. Thanks to feeding the nests. Good morning, sleepyhead. I can't stop admiring those nice decorations you built yesterday. Th really wait, did I? For that kind of thing. I must have built decorations yesterday. I was busy, apparently. These are coming along pretty good. Not done yet. Still need some watering. I think they'll be ready by tomorrow. Oh, I'm out of water. Need more. Uh, there's some right around here, I think. Here-ish. Um, there we go. It's also worth mentioning, and I think we'll get to look at a little bit of this later. You can also upgrade your mech in a lot of ways and customize it. The mech is a big part of the game at large and like game progression too. And you can upgrade it not just in ways of like running faster or jumping further or whatever else, but also like your different farming tools and their effectiveness. Here's a new resource, aluminum. With this, we can start making many things. Many more technical things. Probably going to need a lot more of it than that, but it's a start. I'll have to keep an eye out for it. Let's go water our plants and figure out what we're doing. Building some decorations is actually a pretty good idea. Especially now that it's an official objective up there. First... Farm work. Nice. This will hold it over until tomorrow. There we go. Okay. And this. Let's make some more. Yeah, let's make some more fodder. Feed some animals out and about, and let's keep doing plant oil for now. That's a very handy resource to have early on. Um, decorations, though. What sort of decorations would be good to have around here? And Fences would be cute. As would signs. But I do quite like the clothesline wash basin. That would probably be a good thing for us to have around here. One of each, sure. It really ties the farm together. Let's see. Campfire would be good, too. That feels on theme. We'll keep it away from the laundry. That should do it. There we go. Do need to actually build them, though. First you. Gonna need plant oil for that one and more plant fiber for that one. Let me go do a little bit of gathering. Okay, let's see. We've got more stuff for this and that. There we go. Love it. Now, we're a little over encumbered right now, but that's okay. We can drop a lot of our stuff off in here. I do not need to be carrying around this much wood or rocks or aluminum or really a lot of this stuff at any given time on me. Fortunately, when you're crafting things, uh... The crafting menu pulls from your storage as well, so you don't have to have that in your immediate inventory to use it, which is so nice. I appreciate that quite a lot. There we go. Entirely unencumbered and ready to go do something. Or actually start planning some more buildings. Let's, let's do a little bit of that. There are some things that I do want, like this assembler is going to be important. We're going to need more aluminum for it. Definitely, but... We're going to want this. Also, I am going to want an upgrade depot. Because that is where mech upgrading starts happening. Hmm. That feels right having that somewhere near here, right? Doesn't it? Let's, uh... 
Let's park you... I'm not really sure where the best spot for it is, but... Sure. Works for me. We're gonna need a lot of stuff for that, though. Aluminum frames, which... We're gonna need this thing to even make that. Now we're gonna need lots of aluminum to make that and then make the frame. We, we need a lot of aluminum, so let's start... Let's start wandering around, doing a little resource gathering, specifically looking for some aluminum deposits. I think I see one, two, in the distance right now. Three. There's quite a haul. And so close to home, too. And even more over there. I think we're going to be good on aluminum for a bit. <laughs> there we go. Got a bunch of that. Also, here's another little uh, animal nest for these little... um. Rat scallions. It's pretty good. It's a little hard to see them in the shade here, but they're quite small. There you go. Oh, it's done and up close. Nest fully fed. Fantastic. And I'm not seeing any other aluminum in immediate view, so let's head back and see how far the stuff we've gathered will take us. Love that big tree over there. It's very pretty. Let's see. Uh, got enough? Yes. Built. Awesome. So for this, we've got all the aluminum rods we need and stone. Uh, we need aluminum frames, though, and that is going to require some of these rods to make. So let's make... Was it five? I think it was five. There we go. And now... Build. That was just four, but we got one now. So, now we could place our mech there. Looking good, and... Here is the upgrade menu. So there is a variety of mech upgrades, as you can see, like a whole tree of them for farming stuff. Like, uh, let's see. With just one more aluminum rod, we could upgrade the seed shooter to have a lock-on feature. While using the seed shooter, use left trigger to lock on and then right trigger to fire. The seed shooter can lock on to and automatically hit up to nine mounds. So that's a way to start planting seeds a little bit faster, which is pretty cool. Or uh, irrigation hose hydro splash. The irrigation hose can fire big blobs of liquid that can splash on multiple mounds at the same time. That's awesome. More efficient watering. Increased water tank capacity. Increased irrigation hose power for getting rid of slime. That's great. There's also uh, better gathering. With some aluminum parts, we could upgrade our spike saw's power to be able to break more kinds of materials. We haven't really run into it yet, but there's bigger trees and rocks and such that this current spike saw is not tough enough to handle. But upgrade it this way and it'll be able to do more. We could increase our inventory capacity, harvester vacuum power, uh, pathmaker mode. There's different like mech modes you can get, like this one that lets you uh, freely create paths on the ground with your mech, or this one which allows you to plow fields. This one which is a lawnmower. <laughs> uh, there's also thruster boosts and sprint speed, and also just customization, different parts that you can find, build, order, make, I'm not sure which, uh, to customize how your mech looks, which is quite cool. Uh, and also, I think, I've got like a little paint gun, and I don't know if I have any uh, paint currently, but if I did, I could use that to customize my mech's color. I think you can make paint. Um, I'm not sure what in. I might not have the tool required just yet. It's kind of nice, like, <laughs> going up to these new tools and such that I've been making in human form outside the mech, because then you realize, oh, these are actually quite large. <laughs> I kind of lost the sense of scale a little bit being in the mech all day. But yeah, we're really just starting to scratch the surface of the things that you can build and customize and do. In fact, here, to to speed ourselves along a little further here, I'm going to jump over to my other save that I've been playing a bit longer. Not a ton longer, so it's not way different, but a little bit longer. And uh, 
then we can hopefully wander around and see a few more things. So be right back. Okay, here we are on my other save, which is a few more days in. Day seven and raining. Hey, hope you're well this fine morning. Since it's raining today, you won't have to water your crops. Why don't you sow some more seeds? They'll also benefit from the rain. It's not a bad idea. I've started pl weeds. Get out of here. Who invited you? How do I, um... Might need to be a little bit more precision careful with that. Maybe better to do that outside the mech in the future. But hey, now we can plant more. Ahem. Different kinds of crops. I've, I think this is the only other kind of seed I have located. Oh, no, wait. Well, I could plant a tree here, but I don't really want to do that. Um, yeah, I am out of other kinds of seeds. Alas. These, I think, are ready for harvesting, though. Yes. Good. Let's plant some more. There we go. Don't even have to water them, which is great. Although I can show you that other tool for planting a tree sapling. Why not? Boom, there you go. And it's already watered. Fantastic. And I think... If I remember correctly, I had left off here just about ready to upgrade something on this mech. Let's see about it. Uh, yes. Yes, okay. I have the parts needed to upgrade this spike saw's power. Let's do it. Done. I do not have anywhere near what I need to do further here. I don't even know what some of these materials are. But hooray! An upgrade. Does it look any different, I wonder? Is it just stronger? I think it's just stronger. But now... Like, uh, there are some of these... Larger trees here that, uh, yeah, the large green trees. I couldn't do anything about those before. And I don't know how many I actually want to cut down. I do quite like them. Just a few, I think. Or, yeah, you know what? Just one. They are quite tough. Ooh, and they come with hardwood. Which allows for all kinds of new things I can make. It's cool. But also, in uh, this save, I have finished tidying up and restoring Pine... what's it's called? Um, Pine Heights, that's the one. Yeah. Hang on. Let me, um, hang on. Nope. Hang on. And this is one of the new materials here. Red crystal, which, before upgrading this thing, I could not gather. Now I can. Don't know what red crystal dust is for. I'm sure I'll find out eventually. It's looking greener and nicer out here. The animals have started populating the area again. It's looking nice. And I think now that I've restored the place, you can actually see it on the map now, too. Yeah, yeah, it's more fleshed out on the map. You can actually see alien art installation blocking my way to all this. And I've ventured slightly into these two places, but not done any restoration work as of yet. And in this one, I'll need to upgrade the irrigation hose before I can do anything. But yeah, already quite a lot to do. And uh, even more now, now that they've done that big Neighbors and Animals update. So I won't be able to show you a whole lot of that because I am pretty early on with it. But the gist of it is you've got the ability to kind of like build a landing platform around your base now. And that will allow a couple of uh, different new NPC characters that they've recently added to drop in and uh, kind of work with you. Help you out with some stuff. Give you some new uh, abilities that you can do with, like, your farm. Or help you with raising animals. That's kind of one of the new things. You can find uh, animal eggs, abandoned eggs, out in the world now. And uh, if you can manage to bring those back to your base with the help of one of those 
new uh, NPC friends, you will be able to start like building a little farm and raising them. And doing all sorts of stuff with them as well. Like, just uh, just more stuff and more features and systems added to the game. I imagine new NPCs will be continually added with, like, new features and functions that they can do as the game grows. Also, like, with those NPCs, like, you're building a landing pad where they can drop in, but you can also, like, start decorating that landing pad area and eventually uh, make it nice enough and uh, work with them enough, and they will just kind of permanently settle in. Like, build a little house of their own. They can start forming your own little neighborhood community. It's really cool. Like, there's a lot of potential in this. Like, this is already a really strong foundation, and I'm glad knowing that they uh, have longer-term plans for the game for expanding on this and building on it, because there's... It's already a great time, and there's a lot here. Like, there's a lot of possibility here for more you could do. I also really enjoy there being some, like ruins and mysteries and things to learn a bit more about as you explore and figure out. There's potential in that as well. I just love me a good chill, like, chill any kind of game, but like a chill farming sim is a pretty grand time. And I'm enjoying the vibes of this one a lot. I'm very curious about the, like, different ways you can customize your mech's look. There's a lot of other, like, even just going in the building menu, I think we can start seeing some more I might have a few more options available than we could see before, like different kinds of uh, storage solutions. I could build a small cabin instead of a uh, small tent here. Different kinds of fences. Other kinds of ornaments. Chopping block and log rack. Those look cool. Yeah, I'm quite liking what I'm seeing. I hope you are as well. What should we do? What should we do? Like, let's finish out the rest of this day, at least. I don't think... What would I need to build a merchant landing? I think probably a good bit more than I've got currently. Yeah. Oh, well. Stone, aluminum rods, and red crystal. Maybe, if I run around real quick, maybe I can find all those things before the day ends. Maybe. Let's find out. Okay. Cut it a little close, but I think... I think I've got everything I need. So... Where would I want them to drop in? Maybe like... over here somewhere. Kind of spread myself out a bit, but that's fine. So, yes, here we go. Merchant landing. Where... Can you go? Oh, maybe you have to be, like, kind of near my whole little base area. That works okay. Yeah, sure, you can drop in here. Why not? It's actually a little bit close to home. Maybe, um... Maybe... Hang on. You can kind of go into a recycling mode here to... Relocate objects. Shift them a little further out. So they're not, like... Right on top of my little campsite. Here we go. And add. Here we go. Uh, so. Got this built. Wait for a merchant to arrive. Okay, well, maybe they'll come the next day. It's just about evening. Why don't I drop off some of my things here? Quick deposit, quick deposit. If you've got some uh, stacks of various kinds of items in a storage box already, you can just press Y to quick deposit and drop in any of some more of those same items. It's quite nice. All right. Yeah, let's uh, call it a night. Good night, bird who hangs around me all the time. Day eight. Anyone here? Nothing like a good night's rest. I can't stop admiring those nice decorations you built yesterday. You've really got an eye for that kind of thing. Thank you. Hmm. Maybe it takes some time. For merchants to arrive. I'm so curious, though. Oh, we probably better call it, because I, I don't know... I don't know how many more things I need to do in order for them to arrive, or if it's just like a random chance thing, but... I'm very curious, though. 
I could definitely see myself playing a good bit more of this one just for funsies. But yeah, that is Lightyear Frontier. I do hope you've enjoyed. Thank you very much to Frame Break and Daredrop for sponsoring this. Uh, good luck with the ongoing development of this. Congrats on the release of the new update. I am excited to see where this game goes from here because, I don't know, the world can always use more chill sim games in general, but <laughs> this is a pretty fun variant of that idea y'all have made here. And quite well executed, too. It's really charming. But yeah, thank you all very much for watching, and I'll see you all tomorrow for something else. Goodbye!